With the slinky, we were able to demonstrate two kinds of waves. There was the longitudinal wave, and there was a transverse wave. But with this piece of apparatus, we can demonstrate a third kind of wave called a twist wave or a torsion wave. Down the backbone of the apparatus is a stiff piece of wire running from one end all the way to the other. Welded to the piece of wire are these uh, rods, these metal rods out to the side. Now, when you twist the wire, when you twist the wire, say, uh, let's uh, pull one of those rods down like that to twist the wire, and you release, uh, release the rod, the wire wants to untwist. And in untwisting, it overshoots and then wants to come back again. And that creates the mechanism to propagate this disturbance along the uh, wire from one end of the apparatus to the other. However, if you just look, if you just look at the ends of the rods out here, you'll see that the ends of the rods, when the disturbance propagates, move up and down like this as the disturbance moves that way. So if you look at the ends of the rods, it'll appear to be a transverse wave. So this device is a device that takes a torsion wave, the wave moving down the stiff piece of wire, and then displays it to you as if it were a transverse wave. So let's uh, twist the, uh, the wire and watch the disturbance then move down and then back as it reflects off of the end. That's a torsion wave. It's a twist wave, a twisting of the wire. But to look at the ends, it appears to be a shear wave.